I'm at Ramsey District Cottage Hospital and there's a special event going on here today, Certificate of Accreditation here for the Gold Vestam People Award. Uh, with me now, obviously, it's quite interesting to see both of you here. This is obviously a pre-planned uh, thing from some time ago, I guess. Yes, I mean, um, Lawrence re uh, represents the Department of Economic Development in this and uh, Investors in People Award is a fantastic thing for Ramsey to achieve. Um, they had the Silver Award last year, they've been inspected four times and they've far exceeded the gold uh, standard this time and it's a real pat on the back for the staff and the, pa and, and the team here at Ramsey really. A bit of good news, what you need? Yes, it is good news. I mean, cause that actually, that is quite a tricky thing to get, isn't it? I mean, very small percentage actually get the gold. I know. It is indeed, and uh, as as minister stated, it, um, it was only a year ago they actually had the silver award, uh, which was a great achievement in its own right. Now to achieve the gold within 12 months is a fantastic uh, achievement. Further on, so one year on, here they are receiving this, and this is recognition, as ministers clearly stated, for the staff here at Ramsey Cottage. Um, it, it'd be wrong me not to ask you two how. You things are now since having that um, bruising debate in Tim Wald. Um Comments? Well, we've both agreed to draw a line and move on, and that's exactly what we're doing. That's history now. We're moving on. We're trying to work together to try and improve things. Um, Mr Skelly has given us um, indications he's able to help us in some areas with his speciality in IT within the hospital, so hopefully uh, we can move on. You move on? Uh, absolutely. You know, politics is politics. At the end of the day, uh, we've uh, we've had the debate now. Uh, what we need to do is, as, uh, as as ministers clearly stated, and I think Chief has as well. Let's draw a line under this and let's move on uh, for the betterment of the health service and the Isle of Man. Uh, and do you regret actually? going ahead with that emotion at all? No, I don't, I don't regret it. I, I did it for very genuine reasons, and uh, you know those reasons perhaps may not have gone away. However, uh, I'm willing to work with the department and work with government. As I've always stated, uh, we've had our say, we've had our debate, and uh, it's just literally time to move on. I mean, okay, it's politics, but in the end of the day, it, you said it was bruising, so it's not, it's not a pleasant place to be, was it? Well, it's not the sort of thing you want to go through every week, I must admit. Yeah. yeah. And you, yourself, you're, you're happy to continue? Yes, I, I've got a good team around me. Um, we, yes, we have issues to, to sort out, um, but I'm, I'm convinced I've got the team to sort those issues out. There are areas we're looking to improve um, on, and um, I'm sure you're very well aware of those. Um, there's work in progress there. There's another initiative as well, as the result of the Chief Minister visiting the hospital. He's got a better understanding of the health service and the issues, particularly in Nobles Hospital, to do with IT and things like that. So I think it's a better understanding um, of the problems we're wrestling with. But, you know, a lot of them are uh, resource implications. Well, you've had the West Midlands people in. Uh, last week they came and had a quick chat with us. I mean, this is an ongoing thing now. Is confidence restored? Well, I mean, you're, I'm not the right person to ask if confidence has been restored. What we're trying to get out to the general public is that we're trying to make Nobles Hospital as safe as it possibly can be for a general district hospital. And you put it down to Nobles. I mean, up here, we never hear anything. I mean, I don't know if it has well, had well, complaints or what. Well, the, the issues we've been talking about are, have been narrowed down to Nobles Hospital. Mm -hmm. And, you know, and the letter from the 10 consultants came from Nobles Hospital uh, went, that went to the medical director, was subsequently leaked out. Those, those are issues that were actually being dealt with, but there was frustration that they weren't being dealt with within the uh, a time scale that was, uh, they thought was some of those individuals thought was appropriate. However, there were um, work streams put in place to improve things, um, and those work streams are ongoing. And Ms. Scully, do you still like the idea of being the health minister, though? <laughs> I never said that in the first place, Paul. So you said you wouldn't say no to it, though. You no, know, what I've said is I would actually do any job the Chief Minister asked me to do. So uh, I would actually uh, stand up for what I believe in. So if it meant uh, doing a minister's job, I would take it. Well, let me ask you, would you like to do this job? Uh, no, you, ca you can't ask me to do that. Uh, that's the, only the Chief Minister can do that. So uh, what I've said is I want to uh, contribute positively. I'm quite comfortable with the roles I'm doing, uh, but I'm uh, happy to, uh, to change if the Chief Minister deems that's right.